All right, welcome, welcome. I am so excited about this package. So this is only going to be a first look, first impressions of a brand new generation of multi-tool by Windler over in the UK. Now this is over a year in the waiting. This is from the Kickstarter. And I am very interested to see what people will say about this system, this new system of multi-tools. Very interesting really really just excited to have it so we're going to take my impressions just as we go and we will do a separate independent review once i have time to figure out what it's about what works best with it but for now let's go ahead and take a look shall we so we're going to use the up knife today open this side up it says oh i see go like this like that this side up. Oh, okay, that's a nice unboxing. So we got this, whoop. Thank you for being one of the first customers. Awesome. What's going on here? Ooh, the whole, it comes like a stack like that. You gotta forgive me, there's someone uh, outside having some fun. Okay, cool. What's this? What is this? Oh, it's a lanyard bead. That's cool. I like that. All right. All right. I'm very, I'm very excited about this. So I'll tell you all about it once we take a look at it. Okay, so. First impressions, first look. <laughs> this is the best part about it, so I don't want to, I don't wanna, I'll just, because most of you haven't seen this. Oh, it's reversed, whoops. Aha. Can I open it one-handed is the question. The answer is a yes, I can open it one-handed. So let me just take this off. Now the whole system, as you can tell, is magnet-based. Let's take a look. Oh, that's actually not damaged. That's how this unscrews, I guess. There's little two little sections. It's kind of interesting. Is that true on all of them? No, just those, because these are press fit. I've seen that demonstrated. So these are titanium tools, titanium tools that are titanium nitride. They're nitride coated, so they're hardened. So they were going to be very, very hard. I ordered the EDC set, which is basically the knife blade, the prying tool, and the Phillips. It also comes with the smaller flathead slash bottle opener system. But let me, let me just, whoa, those are some seriously strong magnets. All right, so let's just put that stack aside and let's focus on this knife for a second because this is really interesting and very, very thin. This is probably the thinnest knife that I own. So let me just get a sense of how well this works by itself. It's a little stiff. My, is my initial my initial impressions but I'm not sure why because it feels pretty smooth very interesting oh the detents very very strong and it's actually not as small as I thought it was going to be this is actually a bigger setup than I expected I, I'm getting a full four fingered grip on this knife blade which is made in 440C. It is chisel ground so that it lays flush and flat against the tool so that when you have it closed with the frame lock, it recesses so there's no sharp edges. So this is probably one of the thinnest knives I've ever seen. And it definitely is different. The actual stop pin is on the knife itself and it locks into the titanium frame 
and it's just very interesting. You can see all of the Windler's design features built in. I think the detent is almost a little too strong, but frankly, because of the exposed blade, I think it's going to end up being fine. Obviously, I have no problems using this two-handed. It opens just fine. As far as opening it one-handed, the D10 is its good. It's very, very good. Right there. Whatever it's whatever's touching feels very, very hard. Like it's putting quite a bit of pressure in against that blade. Because when you press in, the, the blade swings pretty free, which is nice. It's there's just a lot of pressure being pushed into it. Maybe that's just a tuning thing. That'd probably be easy enough to tune myself, probably. But the reason that I think it's worth it. My initial impression is maybe it's a little bit too strong. And the reason it might be worth lowering it a little bit is um, with the blade being exposed the way it is, maybe it'll keep from sliding up when your, your fingers move. But look at that. Look at the way the blade is cut so that the locking mechanism actually tucks in under the blade. Getting this right must have been t difficult. Obviously, it's not going to fall shut because there's too much tension. But the fact that this even works is kind of impressive to me. Very unusual knife, very unusual system. So the point of this system was to mix and match and basically build it the way that makes sense to you. So if I said I didn't want the blade and I just wanted to carry a Phillips and pry tool, because that's probably like, these are the two that make the most sense to me. These two tools, I can just keep them together. Now the whole thing can go on a chain. You know, and I think, personally, I think there's a possibility that this system might integrate, let's take this off for a sec, with something like the key bar. I'm not 100% sure about that. But I think, probably more like that, Given, I think given a little bit of like a spacer of some sort around the screw, very easily could this be, you know, integrated with it. As far as the, now the blade's a lot longer. Now, if I had this, now it is longer. Now, what that means is it's going to be far better standalone. So this won't go in there, which is not going to be the end of the world. You know, it's, it's easing up already. I'm wondering if it just needs some lubrication. I wonder if I have some. Um, not on hand. Not on hand. I'll have to look. But you know what? This is already getting easier to open one-handed. I can't believe this even works. And I think that the, what makes this successful is actually the geometry of the blade. Now let's close it. You can probably see it a little bit better. It It's a sub substantial angle so that it cannot slip past the blade. Very interesting. And these, all of these magnets are actually encased in a marine grade steel. I'm not sure what the numbers stand for. I'll have to ask him. This all say 01 on them, all of them. Interesting. I'm not sure what that's all about. All right. Well, these are really cool. So by themselves, like what about independently? I think they're pretty cool. The real, the real sticking point, I think, for a lot of people is going to end up being... Ooh, it's kind of fun. It's going to be... Do you like magnets or not? It's as simple as that. Do you do you like magnets? How strong are these? I'm just out of curiosity. No, not that strong. It's a pretty thick table. Not quite. Pretty strong. Strong enough for sure.
Interesting. Very interesting. I don't think it makes much sense to put this on top, does it? Can I can I still get into the knife blade if I do that? Yeah, yeah I technically can. There's a lot of interesting things happening here. I think it's definitely going to need to be revisited as a secondary review. But man, what an interesting piece. So this is just my first impressions. This is the Windler tool stack. A modular multi-tool system. One of two systems that I invested in from Kickstarter in hopes that they would come to fruition and also potentially disrupt the market. This is one of the two. I'm happy to see that it does look like it matches all of the images that I've seen of it so far. I think the knife blade and the knife component is far more advanced, or at least it required more engineering than I initially thought. There's a lot going on here. This blade is basically moving around this large pivot. The, the, this part is staying while the blade is moving around it. That is a lot of contact, a lot of contact, and yet it's still functioning. So I'm wondering if with some lubrication, whether this will move a lot better, but even without it, it's certainly working. The fact that this is even a thing is very, very cool. And this has got to be one of the thinnest knives. Well, it's definitely the thinnest knife I own. That's it. So I will put a link to Windler's website down below so you guys can take a look. But this is one of the first Kickstarters out there. And as far as I know, it's the first time we've seen it. So I'm pretty excited about it. Very unique piece. So that's it. We're going to be doing a review of this probably down the line after I've tried it for a little while. Just to see where it fits. When do I carrying it? What does it make sense? Am I using the knife independently? Am I carrying these components separately? There's a lot of ways I think that this can be utilized. And what came to... What got me excited about it initially was the prospect of having these tools be completely corrosion proof. We have a marine grade stainless uh, encapsulating a magnet. We have titanium with nitride coating. These are basically multi-tools you could take to a beach. So depending on what ends up being part of them, there's, there's a lot of options for marine based needs. Like if I needed a Phillips head screwdriver, having one I know would never rust inside a toolkit, let's say I'm a fisherman and I need I need something like this. I think there's I think there's there's a market. I really, really do. I think for this stuff, for these titanium tools, no question. I think how it will be used will have to be left to be determined. Very interesting. So you guys have a great day. This is a first look at the Windler tool stack.